Hello everyone, I'm making this video so I can teach you how to make Bitpack for PC work. Okay, first of all, you have to check your Windows bits. Um, the system type I have here is a 64 bit operating system. Yours may be a 32 bit operating system. In that case, you have to use the appropriate Bitpack version. Right now, after downloading Bitpack, you won't have all these, you will only have these five. Uh, if you have a 32-bit operating system, you will use this one, the BitPath for PC. Uh, if you have a 64-bit version, you will have to use this one. There's no difference between them. It's just that one is on 32 bits and one is on 64 bits. Okay, now I'm going to run my BitPath for PC, the 64-bit version, since that's my Windows version. Uh, I'm going to load a bit. Just any random bit will work. Just as long as it makes any sound whatsoever. Um, if you can see right now, none of them work. None of them make any sound. That's because right here, you will see the digital audio SPDIF. High definition audio device is on and this is the main one that BPAD uses. Um, you can disable it to pretty much make BPAD work. So, uh, right click this digital audio and just click the disable one. If you try now, it won't work. But if you reset BitPad, uh, restart BitPad, and just load any random bit in, you will see that this time, any random bit that we take will perfectly and utterly work. Okay, as you can see, it works perfectly. Even the 36-bit version works. 80 bits, 80 bits. I'm editing some of these bits. If I take this, they will all work perfectly. Okay, so as you can see, BitPad works perfectly now. Um, if you have any other comments or if it still doesn't work after this, um, leave a comment on the Facebook page. Uh, the Facebook page is this page right here. The BitPad PC face page. Um, you will have it right here and you can just leave a comment here and we'll respond to it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. I hope this solved your problems. Goodbye.